Christos Anesti to you and your families. Today, I'm going to present one of the most amazing miracles that has to do with St. George and the Holy Light. I was sent this uh, miracle from my spiritual father, Sava Ayoriti, which is here. And it was sent to him directly from the priest that experienced this miracle. And if you hear it, although we know we do not doubt the holy light, you will see how we have even more proof now that the holy light is true. The holy light is truly from above. It's alive and it's real. So what I will do is I'll speak at the very end about our charities and a few other things. So please uh, wait until the very end. So this miracle took place on the 23rd of April, 2020, uh, in a little village in Crete. And this happened when the churches for the first time in Greece were actually closed. And all this because of this so-called agenda. So I have the letter here from this priest, and I'll translate it as we go. And he says that he woke up in the morning on the feast day of St. George, so he can go and do the memorial services for the departed ones that he knew. He went to the graveyard and he was greatly saddened because no one was there. Lord have mercy. No one was there. Not even priests, no chanters, not even a faithful. He went into the little chapel um, to light a candle before he went to the graves of the departed ones. He goes on to say, My sadness multiplied, as on the feast day of St. George, even the candles inside the church were not lit. His eyes were full of tears, and with great sadness, this is what he said, My Lord, my Panagia, St. George, Forgive us the sinners that on a day like this, we were deceived from the evil one and we didn't do what we should have done. He goes on to say, my Lord, my Holy Mother, forgive me the sinner. But I want to begin with the candle of St. George because today it is his feast day. So the priest says, as I went down to grab the candle of the saint, suddenly and by itself, a flame lit on the candle. But listen to this. Just imagine the flame lighting on its own. But he goes on to say that it had no wick and no oil, which is impossible. It is impossible for it to light. And I will put the photo here in a second. This happened in a shape out of the ordinary. He suddenly heard a voice from inside the holy altar that said, Light it, my child, and light all the candles with this light here. He goes on to say that he lit the candles. And on the candle of St. George, all he did was add oil and suddenly the flame was going higher and higher without the wick. I'm actually getting shivers. It is, it is amazing to think that a candle without wick can actually light. It's like saying a car is driving without an engine. He goes on to say, that there was a labada, the bigger candles, the white thicker ones, and he lit it with that light. Then he put his hand on that light and on the labada, on the big thicker um, candle, and he started praying the resurrection prayer. Christos Anesti, our Lord has resurrected. And he says in brackets that... He did that because 
because they had not celebrated Easter that year, that's where he lived the holy light. He said he was not burning and you can truly feel that the light, you feel it as light and not like fire. He goes on to say that this event, he took a photo of it. And he even says, people that know from photography, feel free to check it. In the photo I'll show you now here, there is no way it could have been tampered with because of the great difference of fortinotita, of the brightness. He goes on to say that I'm telling everyone this enormous miracle of the great martyr Saint George for your spiritual benefit and for all the people that will read it. Because we know that miracles serve a purpose and there are many purposes, but as the priest says, this particular miracle is to strengthen our faith. And as we can see in the photo, you can see there is no wick in the candle. There is no wick. And that light, I want you to remember that light there. It's like a ball of fire, the holy light. And I'm going to compare it. If you remember in Greece, uh, again, when the churches were closed, um, but I believe it was the second year round where um, it was only a priest was allowed to perform the service. Um, and from the chandelier, I've got the holy, uh, the uncreated light coming down from the chandelier. And I'll put it here right now, if you can watch it here, and you'll see how amazing and how similar it is. Or also, if you look here, the cross, or Timio Stavros, parts of the cross of our Lord, which suddenly the cross started shining and it ended up like a ball of fire. So look at the ball of fire here and compare it to the candle that we have there. To think that it can light without a wick, as I said, it's like getting a car with no engine, with no fuel, and then on its own, the car starts up and drives because that's exactly what the wick is. The wick is the engine. The oil that we put uh, to light the candle, that is the engine oil, the petrol. So please, please share this video because I am shadow banned from YouTube and with all this agenda that happened, this evil agenda, sadly, uh, my videos are not getting shown. Below this video, I put an update on Church of Saint Ephraim. I also uh, introduced Church of Our Holy Mother, our Panagia, also our feeding programs. And all this is below in the video. And I'll put all these links below in the description if you wish to donate. And just know that your money goes 100% there. There's no overheads. And please do not leave a tip at GoFundMe. Put the tip to 0% because we don't get that tip. So thank you for watching. May Saint George the Great Martyr intercede for you all. And Christos Anesti, Alithos Anesti, O Kyrios, to you and your families. Thank you for watching and God bless you all. Take care.